Dr. Ariane from the Movement Paradigm. If you are experiencing any kind of gut issues like bloating, constipation, diarrhea, SIBO, leaky gut, or even upper GI issues, for example, like GERD, then you should definitely give this vagus nerve hack a try. This is the ileocecal valve release. The ileocecal valve is going to connect the small intestine to the large intestine and prevent any backflow of nutrients and food, undigested food, into the small intestine. So the large intestine is where we have most of our beneficial bacteria. So what we don't want to happen is for there to be this backflow of toxic materials moving into the small intestine where it is not supposed to be. This can cause a whole host of issues from SIBO, small intestinal bacterial overgrowth, to just having an overload of toxins in our system because the small intestine is where we're supposed to be absorbing our nutrients from our food. Issues around this ileocecal valve can typically cause a lot of tenderness around the area and it could be one of the main drivers for small intestinal bacterial overgrowth. It is definitely an underlying cause. So how does the vagus nerve fit into this? So the vagus nerve is going to modulate digestion through what's referred to as the migrating motor complex. Think of this migrating motor complex located in our small intestine that helps to move things through towards the large intestine. So it can also affect the ileocecal valve. So we wanna think about optimizing the vagus nerve as it relates to its influence on our small intestine and ileocecal valve. So how do you perform the release? So while you're lying down, you'll find your hip bone. So typically that's pretty obvious where that, that top of the hip bone is. And then you find your belly button or your umbilicus. So from that point, you're going to move from your hip bone up just one third of the way. That's actually called McBurney's point. So when you get to that area, you're gonna just sink your fingers nice and easy into the tissue. And first you're always assessing to see, is this tender? How does it feel here? Does it feel really restricted? Once you've assessed the tissue, just like always, you wanna do this on your bare skin. You are going to traction the tissue up towards the belly button. So you're gonna gently compress inward and then traction the tissue towards the belly button. So again, on this diagonal here. If possible, you want to try to hold this anywhere from two to four minutes. So you're trying to, so you don't want to use a lot of pressure so your arms get fatigued. You're just gently pulling up in that area, letting it release, and then rechecking it afterwards. So just kind of palpating around the, the area, seeing how that feels, if there's a decrease in tenderness, you might feel some more GI motility and sounds as you do this. That's totally normal. So once again, you are Pressing down gently, tractioning towards the belly button, hold for two to four minutes. I recommend doing this right before bed. That's, a, that's actually when I do it. It's a really nice relaxation technique, but you could do it anytime. And uh, if you do it, I would say just try to be consistent about it. So you wanna do it on a daily basis. I, I like to recommend for at least eight weeks, especially if you're trying to make changes in your overall gut health. All right, I hope that was helpful. If it was, make sure you give it a like, give it a share with a friend or family member. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel, The Movement Paradigm, for weekly tips on mindset, nutrition, and movement. And if you are interested in making a consult for yourself, please make sure to reach out. You can check us out at themovementparadigm.com. We would love the opportunity to help you.